In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a YAML file for your ROS2 parameters. We are first going to create a YAML file and load it when we start a node. And then I'm also going to show you how to include a YAML file inside a launch file. So let's go ahead and create a YAML file to start all the parameters we need just with one file. And so where do we create this YAML file? So I'm going to go in my ROS2 workspace in the source folder, and I have already two packages here. One package, which is a Python package, which contains just one node here. And then I have my robot bring up, which is a package I have made just for launch files. And I'm going to start with this. So I'm going to start in the case where you just want to put your parameters in the same package as your node, if you are just going to use ROS2 run, for example. And then later in this tutorial, we're going to move this config file into the bring up package so that the launch file and the config file are going to be at the same place. So let's go in my package, so my Python package here. And in this package, well, this is a standard Python package. I have nodes in this folder and I'm going to create, so mkdir config. So I create a config folder so there is no really rule about that okay you could name uh, this folder whatever you want but a typical convention is to use config for well yaml config files so in this config folder let's put so let's just name it uh, so touch params dot yaml okay so make sure you use the dot yaml extension here and let's press enter and we have a new file now I'm going to go, so I'm going to open Visual Studio Code here in the workspace. So you just use whatever editor you want. And let's go into my Python package. And I have config with the YAML file here. And so, of course, well, in ROS2, a parameter doesn't just exist by itself. It is linked to a node. So let's check. I have a node here. Uh, my first node, well, the, that's the Python file. And the name of the node is PyTest. And I have declared a few parameters. Okay, that's what you need to do in your nodes. You need to declare parameters. Okay, I have a few parameters. So I'm going to initialize all those parameters directly in the YAML file. Okay, because you can see I have quite a few. If I need to do that manually on the terminal, that's going to be quite long. So let's go ahead and start our YAML file. And the first important thing is the node name. Okay, you will need to use the same node name. So the node name here is PyTest. So I will start with PyTest at the top. And then colon, I go back to a new line and I can add an indentation of, let's say, two spaces or four spaces if you want, but just be consistent. And then I will do ROS underscore underscore, so double underscore parameters. Okay, so you need to do that you need to put the node's name, so the exact name, and then ROS parameters, and then go back to a new line and add another indentation. And then I can add the list of parameters with the value. So let's start with, let's name it bool value. So we have a parameter named bool value, and I can put, for example, true. Okay, so here I'm gonna write a few parameters and basically show you what data types you can use. Okay, I'm gonna cover most of the data types. So you can use booleans, okay? You can put true or false like this. So false would be with an uppercase two, like in Python. Then you can have an int number. So let's put five. You can have a float number. Let's put 3.14. And so you can see you put each new parameter on a new line, okay? Just respecting the indentation here. Then str text, you can add some text. So hello, for example. And then, well, those are the main data types that you're going to use. Okay, booleans, integer numbers, float numbers, and text. Now, what you can also do is to use lists of those data types. So I can have a bool array, for example, and I can just put an array like that. So true, false, true. Okay, just like that. And then an int array. So let's quickly create that. One, two, three. And then a float array. 
okay just uh, let's put 3.4 and 4.4 then we have a string array so str array we've so let's just put a and b and you can also have if you want a byte array okay where you can store bytes so basically a byte is a value between 0 and 255 and if you are using bytes usually you can use also the hexadecimal representation so for example with this 0x01 that's gonna be 1 and then 0x f1 okay stuff like that will be hexadecimal so don't worry about that but if you need to use bytes well you can create a byte array and you can use numbers in binary notation or also in hexadecimal notation if you want and finally i'm going to add another one so let's say you have a nested parameter so i can put nested param and then go back to a new line and add a new indentation let's add another int seven so you can add nested param, you just need to basically put the name, colon, go back to a new line, add an indentation. All right, so let's um, save the file. And so make sure, that's very important, again, that the name here is the same as the name of the node. So if it's not the same, you can also rename the node at runtime, okay? That's not a problem, but make sure that when you load it, that's gonna be the same. And then ROS parameters, and then you can see here, I have all the, basically that's all the parameters I have here. So bool value, int number, etc. You can see the nested param is nested param dot another int, which is here nested param with another int with another indentation. Okay. Also, if you want to create a YAML file for multiple nodes, well that's simple. You put node two, so that's gonna be another node, and then another ROS parameters, and you continue to write parameters. Okay, so you just create one structure like that for every node and you can add many structures in the same file great so now that we have this let's go back to the terminal and i'm going to so let's put cd like this clear and let's start our node so i've already built and installed the node so i can do rust to run my python package with uh, so that's py node so let's check here in the setup.py I've actually put pynode for the execute table. Okay, so pynode is the execute table name, but pytest will be the name of the node. Okay, very important to make the uh, difference here. So, for us to run with pynode, and then I will add dash dash ros dash args. Okay, so this is necessary so you can add arguments to the command line with the ros to run, and then dash dash params, so params with an s dash file. Okay. And then I will be able to provide the path to the YAML file. Okay, so here I will provide the exact path. So tilde for home directory ROS to workspace source, my Python package, um, config, and params.yaml. Okay, and just a quick fix here is that actually my code, uh, my Python code for the parameter was wrong. So you have to actually specify the type that you expect because from ROS2 Humble, so if you were using ROS2 Foxy, that previous code could have worked. But if you are using ROS2 Humble or a more recent version, well, you need to declare the parameters type. So that's what I've done here. I recompiled the code and I also sourced the environment. So, well, that just changes the code here in the node, but that doesn't change anything in the YAML file. So I'm gonna go ahead and Let's do CD. Let's make sure we source the bash RC. Okay, and let's do the command again with ROS to run my package with so my Python package with pynode. The params file is that one. Let's run that. Okay, and you can see the node is running, so I don't have any log, nothing. But let's open a new terminal here, and I'm going to do ROS to param list. Okay, we have all the parameters that we have declared and let's do ROS2 param get slash pytest and let's get the int array, for example. Okay, and you can see we have the 1, 2, 3 int array that we have actually declared from the YAML file. Okay, we haven't declared any value here in the node, just in the YAML file. Great, so that's correctly working, and now we are going to try to include that 
directly inside a large file. And just a quick parenthesis before we do this, well, if you like this tutorial and if you like the way I teach, I have a complete ROS2 course for beginners. So if you want to learn ROS2 step by step, starting from scratch and learn everything you need to become a ROS developer, well, I have the course just for you. You can check out the link in the description. And now let's continue with the video. So I have created here, so I have my Python package and I have created my robot bringer, which is a package where I have a launch file, okay? And in this launch file, I just start the node. So I start the py node executable from my Python package, okay? And so I have also installed, okay, in the cmakelist.txt of that package, I have installed the launch file and I have also built it. So everything is already working. So now what if you want to actually start the YAML file, so if you want to start the parameters directly here from that launch file. And that's actually a good idea to do that because, well, here, if you put the config folder and the YAML file directly inside the package where you have the node, well, that's gonna work. But now imagine you have a lot of launch files with a lot of YAML files everywhere. It's actually a good idea to just put all the config files inside the robot bring up if you can. Okay, you're gonna put all the launch files in this launch folder. So you can also create a config file here to host the YAML files. And what I can do maybe is I can drag this and put that inside my robot bring up. So let's move this here. Okay, good. So now in my Python package, I don't have any config file. And now the config, so the config folder is actually in my robot bring up. Okay. And I'm not going to modify it. Okay, this is going to be the exact same. But now I will need to add it to the launch file. And so how to do that? Well, that's a two step process. First, we will need to get the file and then to add it when we start the node. So let's get the file. And for that, we will need to do from payment index python dot packages import get package share directory. Okay, so nothing really to understand here. That's just what you need to actually import the YAML file. And then, so in my generate launch description here, function for the launch file. So by the way, if you don't know how to write a launch file, I have another tutorial on how to do that on my channel. So you can check out this tutorial. And so I create a launch description and then I create a node. I'm gonna here in between, load the config file. So let's name it config is equal to, and I will do, so I will also import OS and I will do os.path.join, open close parenthesis. Let's open this like that. And I will do get package. So I will use the function here. So get package shared directory with the name of the package, which is my robot. So my robot bring up. Okay, so if you left the config folder in my Python package, you would just put my Python package here. So that's gonna find the package and then comma, I'm gonna add config. Config is the name of the folder and then params.yaml. All right, so as for the syntax, well, there is nothing really to understand, but that's also always gonna be the same. So after you've done it two or three times, that's gonna be super easy. Okay, now we have the config file in the launch file. So what do we do? We're gonna, here in my node, we have package executable, and we can do parameters is equal to, and then we're gonna add an array, and inside the array, launch the config. So if you want to have multiple YAML files, you will just put here different elements in the array. All right, and that's pretty much it. So if uh, you want to make sure that you have the same uh, name, for example, PyTest, you can put here, for example, name is equal to Py, so PyTest. Okay, I'll put well, whatever you want, that's gonna be the exact same thing as here. Okay, you can rename the node if needed. So you don't need to modify the node's code directly. You can just modify the params.yaml or the launch file. And just one thing is if you have a namespace, 
So let's say I have namespace. So namespace is equal to, let's call it NS1. Okay, so if you have a namespace, so that your node is in namespace, then in the YAML file, you will also need to add this namespace. And that's quite easy. You will put NS1, and then you will just put all of that with one more indentation. So the PyTest is now in NS1. And let's save that and let's actually keep this namespace. And let's go back to the launch file and let's save this. So we have package executable. Okay, we renamed the node. Well, actually it's the same name, but no problem. We add the namespace. We load the parameters from the config folder here. Good, now let's go back here and let's, so let's close that. Let's kill the node that we were running. Let's go to our Rust workspace. And actually, if we want to build, because that's not going to work like that, we need to build, well, actually not build, but install the YAML file, okay? In this package, in my robot bring up, in cmakelist.txt, we, as you can see, we use this to install the launch folder. And we are going to do the same. So I'm going to just do this, install with directory, and then that's going to be config because that's the um, config folder here with destination share and the project name. So the package name, let's save this. And so when you do call con build, that's going to install the launch files and the config files. So you can find them uh, when you run the code after that. So let's do call con build. Okay, no worries about those warnings here. That's something different. And that correctly work. So let's do now source rc and let's do so, ROS2 um, launch my robot bring up with what's the name of the launch file my app so my app dot launch dot py let's find out what's happening and you can see now py node has been started and if I do ROS2 param list. You can see, so I have my node and I, let's do actually ROS2 node list. I have my node inside the NS1 namespace and also the parameters with the namespace. And I can do ROS2 param get slash NS1 py test. Let's get the string array. And you can see we have string values A, A and B. That's what we have put in the YAML file. Great, so now you know how to create a YAML file, how to load it with a node, and also how to include it in a launch file. Thank you for watching. Now subscribe here to get more tutorials in the future. Also check out my online courses if you like what I teach. Links in the description. And see you in the next one.